told you. You can't do this no more. It just ain't the same. You ain't right. Could you just let all of that go for me? Guess what? What? It's my birthday, and you forgot. I ain't forget. I just don't care. Girl, I can't believe you're 27. Thank you, Brianna. I mean, where did the time go? It was just the other day when we was at Nutty's basement party. Oh my All God. over them little boys being fat. Don't remind me about that. Like, <laughs> we were a hot mess. Like, yeah. Jesus had to pull out like some extra tricks or something to get us together. Because <laughs> we were you. a mess. Like, oh. no, that one time we saw them ugly shirts with the puffy sleeves from Pretty Pieces. Uh, girl, don't remind me. Uh -uh. What were no. we thinking? No, 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 no. Remember when we used to skip school to go smoke weed with Jamel and them? Thank you. I think it's just safe to say that <laughs> we did some real stupid stuff. Yeah, but we were young. We were young. Now, yo. Well, you are. I'm not old, girl. I'm young and vibrant. Pushing 30. Definitely pushing 30. <laughs> That's disrespectful. I'm, I'm just smarter and saved now. Like, okay. It's not 30. Mommy's not 30. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mommy. <gasps> Thank you, baby. We bought it. Here, right, go answer Brianna. Seriously? James, what are you doing here? You know you're not welcome in my house. Now you a real class act for these church folks, huh? Look, I just came to say uh, happy birthday on behalf of Darren and all. I'm not playing games with you today. <laughs> what do you want? What do I want? I know you miss me. Don't touch me. Step outside with me. Alright. Look, James, I don't know what point you're trying to prove showing up here, but I'm not about to be threatened by you in my own house. You want to play all these little games? Why don't you go join a team sport or something? Like, you really need some help. No, seriously, you have a problem. Like, how many times do I have to tell you I'm not the same girl? Move on already. Get over it. Yo, calm down. All right, like I said, I just came here to wish you happy birthday on behalf of the fam. See my niece and that's it. Yeah, my bad, baby. Don't touch me and don't call me baby. How's Darren anyway? It's just about as good as you left him. I don't recall doing all that on my own. What's he doing in my house, Elise? Yeah, we were just watching TV. I thought I told you about him man, his knucklehead brother. You never listen to me. You think I don't know what's going on in here? You a demon, see? All of y'all are. Get up on out of here, man. Hey, let me tell you something. You think I'm gonna let you take my daughter away from me? I'll kill you and your brother before I let that happen. Bounce, nigga. So you're keeping yourself occupied as usual. Why are you still here? Like, seriously, leave already. Bye, go. Don't touch me.
Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you lock the door. I'm about to head out in a second. You are such a lifesaver. Is Brianna still here? What do you think? She's on my nerve. Like, ugh. I can't oh. even say bye. <laughs> she left a long time ago. Yeah, I know, but what can you do? I want to ask you something, though. What was going on with you and James today? What was that all about? I know this. Nothing. Just keep showing up here. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. But you don't have to worry. Nothing going to backslide or anything. I promise. Okay. I mean, I believe that you won't. I'm just, you know how I can be. I'm a little overprotective. You are. <laughs> <laughs> but that's your fault. Because when we were little, you used to always have to hold my hand. Anytime we went outside of the house. <laughs> and I'm like, why do you want to hold my hand? And you were just such a little scary cat. Of everything. Oh. Everything. <laughs> That's crazy. But now you're all grown up. And I know I'm only two years older than you, but I always feel the need to protect you. That's because you've always been like my angel, Kate. Aww. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Bill. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get out of here because I got a meeting at 8 in the morning. All right. I see your Bible studies, all right? Of course. Make sure you lock the door, all right? All right, I'm right behind you. I love you. Love you, too. On all me. I I'm just, so need, just put it in this bag. Just a little bit here. That's all. I'll pay you back. Yeah, I just pay you back. I just need you to put change in here. Do I got time? Mom, do you remember me? It's me, Lisey. Mom, it's me. Lisey? <laughs> they took my baby. What did they do with my baby? What did they take her? Mommy, it's me. Man, don't be slamming my dough like that. This ain't that old hoop you used to, bro. Whatever, man. You a joke. But for real, though, man, this is nice, man. I'm proud of you, boy. Man, we looking, bro. Yeah, it's all hard work, man. That's it. You got my album do something? I feel you, but uh, I got you peach pear plum. Peach pear plum, dog? What is that? See, that's why you struggling now. You can't follow simple instructions. <laughs> Anyways, man. I'm trying to get like you, man. You got the money, the cars. I know you got the women a lot. Right. Because I can follow simple instructions. But yeah, man, it's easy, bro. All you gotta do is work towards the goal that you want to accomplish. And you go get it. That's it, bro. You can do it too. I feel you. Where you going? Give me an apple juice. Oh, okay. Well, well grab me one. That's rude. I'm just gonna bring my peach pear pull off.
Oh no, really? You don't you don't have to do that. Oh, it's no problem. You are too beautiful to be paying for some chips. Okay, thank you. I might. I think you're all set. Thank you. I didn't know uh, I didn't catch your name. I see, because I didn't give it. <laughs> well, can I have your name? I'm Elise. Right. And you're a stranger <laughs> at night. <laughs> But it's nice to meet you, Elise, and that's why I'm trying to get to know you. Come on. I'm a good guy. You can trust me. Okay, good guy. Then you can meet me tomorrow on the corner of MLK in Maine at 7. Okay. Okay, don't be late. Okay. Wait, what's there? Bible study. I'll be there. All right. Do that. <laughs> no, I ain't still that. Uh, chasing that girl? Nah, I ain't chasing that girl. I'm just going after what I want, bro. Do you know her, though? I'm about to. So, yes, it is important that we keep our people in order. But we must make sure that we don't fall with them. The Bible says if a man overtaken in fault, that ye which is spiritual, restore them of meekness, but not be tempted. Amen. 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 <laughs> so it's the best thing I think I've ever done. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> That's good. How you guys doing? Hey, you mind if I get a quick word with Elise? Uh, sure. It's a pleasure meeting. Nice to meet you too. Bye, Pastor. So that was that was cute. But uh, when are we going? You're kidding me, right? No. Wow. Look, just um, uh, just hit me up tomorrow or something. I want to take you out the right way. What's the right way? Well, this I'm not saying that this wasn't cool, but mm -hmm. you you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. And plus, why should I let you take me out on a quote unquote real date? I don't even know you. <laughs> See, exactly. And I'm here with you. See how God works. That's not funny. Don't play with God like that. Okay. My bad. Just uh, just give it some thought, all right? In the meantime, let me show you the way. The way to what? Hell and damnation? <laughs> what? People out here look crazy. I look crazy. <laughs> I'm glad you know. <laughs> Wait, why is this man pulling up like a crazy person? Baby, what's wrong? You, Elise. You made me look like a damn fool in front of my family. And with my brother? No, wait, Darren. I don't even talk. Sorry. I don't want to hear another word out of your mouth ever again in life. I didn't mean for this we to happen. Done. Baby, listen, please. I didn't plan for it to happen like this. James came to me. Are you kidding me? Man, I can't even speak on this please. Eve. Please. No. The crazy thing about it is that I love you. And you do me like this with my family. I'm sorry. You ain't nothing but a hoe. Stay from around us. Darren, wait. Wait, Darren, wait. I'm pregnant. Oh my 
surprised a girl like you would even like me. I never said I liked you. Okay, well, enough to go out with me then. Look, I'm just doing you a friendly favor. You came to Bible study for me, so even though you did kind of follow me there, and that was a little bit creepy, <laughs> but I'm going to let it slide this time. Yeah, you know, I usually don't chase girls. It's just... It was God-led. Huh? Like, for some reason, God wanted you to be in Bible study that night. Look, I don't mean to sound like a bad person, but I don't know much about God. I mean, I don't know no scriptures. I'm not all that holy. To be real with you, I just want to get to know you more at least. Well, to know me is to know him. You know, we were all made in God's image. Even you, Mr. I don't know any scriptures. I mean, I'm no stand-up guy. I mean, I know I'm fly and handsome, but I'm no Jesus. Can you just take me home? Look, I know I'm not all holy, but why don't you just give a regular dude a chance? No, because it's not about you. I'm just not really comfortable. And to be completely honest, you're not really my type. Your type? What's your type? Well, for one, saved. Let's compromise. Let's say one day I do get saved. You know what? I'm gonna hold you to that. Brought you here to loosen up a bit. Get some fun in your system. What is this place? You never been here? Obviously not. Oh, that's right. The church folks don't know how to have too much fun. Whatever. Just saying. Um, actually, I need a second, though. I need to see.
I'm sorry. Why don't you just tell me? Look, I'm not apologizing for my business being my business. I'm just sorry that I wasted your time. I just, I don't think this is gonna work. So, thanks for everything. Elise, do you always run from your situations like that? What happened to your faith and confidence? Where is that now? Mike, you just wouldn't understand. At least I don't mind you having a child. I almost had a few myself. <laughs> That's not funny. Come on, lighten up a little bit. Okay, but I still think that we will be better as friends. I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Honestly, I just, I just want to make mine better with God. That's it. I understand. So when do I get to meet her? Okay, look, the scriptures say here in Mark chapter 4, verse 15, some people are like seed along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown. See, the devil likes to use our past to distract us from what God has planned for the future. Many times we contradict ourselves as Christians. A lot of us let the devil hold one hand while God hold the other. See, we let what we used to do become something we occasionally do. And then we turn around and accuse those who are not saved of being completely in sin. When in actuality, they're better off than we are because they know exactly where they stand. That's why some of our worldly people laugh and mock us. I mean, think about it. How can we be the example of good when we're trying to get the same people we're sinning with to seek salvation in us? Nah. See, we have to be on our A game because the devil's on our heels. Hmm? Amen? Amen. 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 You all right? I'm all right. All right. Have you ever felt? Damn. What you been doing today? Nothing, just sitting around here thinking about her D A D D Y. Ugh. Why? I don't know, Bree. Like I can't get him out of my mind lately. I just keep thinking I want Ryan to have a good relationship with her dad. I don't want her to end up being like how me and my dad are. You know? Like, she shouldn't miss out on that good, solid foundation just because we couldn't get ourselves together. I feel you, Elise. I, I, I really do, but how do you know he's not gonna start acting up? I don't. And then what about James? Okay, he is already telling people that that's his baby. Well, he came by here today. Darren did. Elise. It's not anything like that. I just saw him pulling up, coming up to the door when I was pulling up. But I just stayed across the street in the car until they left. 
I know what I'm doing with my life. This is a mess. It is gonna work out, Elise. It is gonna work out. need an audience? Darren, I want you to stay. Please. Darren, we need you. It's not mine. So quit with the BS. Go find you another fool. And tell my niece I love her when she's born. So, your results came back. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'll be good, right? I just need some painkillers or something. Uh, Michael, it's a little bit more severe than painkillers can help. Severe? Doc, what you talking about? Michael, you have sarcoma. Sarcoma? We gotta bear fruit. It's very, very important. The Bible says the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he that winneth souls is wise. So you hold on to that friend of yours that's teetering with life. And come on, y'all. Stay a little longer for that family member who's trying to get saved, but just can't get it right. I just wanted to thank you. Thank me for what? For the invite. I mean, yeah, no problem. I'm actually happy you came. Really? Yeah. You're building your relationship with God. That's huge, Mike. <laughs> well, at least I wouldn't, I wouldn't say all that now. I mean, it was pretty uplifting, though. Why don't you be so stubborn about it? Let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You want to sit down? Yeah, we can. I mean, it's not like I don't believe, right? I mean, I just grew up different. You know, Pops didn't believe in none of that stuff at all, you know. He told me if I want to believe in something, that I should believe in myself. <laughs> he would always say that church folks just want to criticize others and try to get them to conform to their ways. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I do. I, uh, I've been pretty successful with all that spiritual stuff, you know what I'm saying? I guess. I don't know, I never looked at it like that. But what if I told you that I didn't grow up in the church? Yeah, right. Far from it. My mom was on drugs. 
mentally ill and my dad you know he was just trying to do the best he could with me so I don't know what it's like to grow up in a functional household you know I saw her the other day she was begging for change in front of my job I barely recognized her but the worst part about it is that she ain't recognized me either. You know, they took her when I was like 12. But I remember she used to put me between her legs, braid my hair, read poems to me. And I would make sure she always had her pills. Then one day she just stopped taking them. Coming home, smelling like alcohol all the time. And my dad was so mad, so angry. And one day she just, she stopped coming. She stopped coming home. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be, I mean, it was a long time ago anyway. Right? You, uh, you ever thought about getting her some help? I would, but I don't even know where to start with something like that. Well, um, my mentor, she's a social worker. And she's, uh, she deals with people. Um, in your mom's case. I think she can get help. You really think she would help my mom? Yeah, she'll help, no doubt. She's good people. I'll give her a call in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. I look so cute together. Oh, look at these shoes for Ryan. That's so cute. I should get these. A dad is a daughter's first love. At least just call her. It's the worst that could happen. <clears throat> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three one three nine eight nine six three six zero is not available. <clears throat> At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Um, hey, Dad. It's me, Elise. Look, I know it's been a while, but I was just... just calling to check on you, I guess. Um... I saw Mom the other day. She didn't recognize me, but okay, I guess I'll talk to you later. Love you. Hello? Darren told me to walk you over to the dorms. 
said he was saying after to do some work with coach. This is ridiculous. Like he told me to stay here after class. I could have been in my room already. You know I'd be here. You gotta know you're safe. I would have been safe in my room already. Yeah, my bad E. It's not your fault. It's your brother being controlling as always. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Hey. Hey, Elise, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. Hey, I talked to my mentor. Uh, she said she got a lead on how she can help your mom. Uh, she gave me some paperwork for you to look at. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man, thank you so much. When can I come get it? Well, uh, my, I'm at home right now. We can meet if you want to. That's perfect. Um, send me your address and I'll be right there. All right, cool. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye. We're all here by ourselves. We are. All right, so we're gonna step in Mike's house real quick, okay? Did you have any trouble finding it? No, we're actually right around the corner, so this is perfect. Oh, cool. Well, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Thanks Hi, Kitty. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Thank you, and thanks again for the stuff with my mom. What? I said anything for you. Okay, that's real cute. I don't know. Let me get these favors for you, baby. Baby? Mike, don't you think you're moving a little bit too fast here? Too fast? I'm just speaking it into existence. That's what you church folks do, right? Look, I get that you like me, and that's why you're being so nice, but if that's why you're doing this stuff for my mom, you can keep that. I don't need your pity or charity. And just so we keep the lines clear here, I don't have time for a relationship. You know that. And if I did, you're not really my type. Mike, you can be arrogant and immature. Look, but more importantly, you just, you don't have a good relationship with God. And that's a deal breaker for me. So, you know, just friend stuff, right? You know what, at least, I've been real patient with you. First, I'm like, okay, maybe she's just playing hard to get. She'll come around. But that's the thing about you church folks. You're so caught up in the idea of how it's supposed to look and everything you can't do that you, what you need to realize is what's on the inside that counts. See, look, I know I don't know much about God, okay. But what I do know is he didn't run away from people just because based off the lifestyle they live. I wasn't if trying. anything, he ran towards those people. I could be a blessing in disguise, but your head so far stuck up that you can't even see that someone generally trying to help you. You everything I heard about them church folks, too good, too saved, even look down and see that somebody trying to help you. Mike, I didn't mean it like that. You know what? I get you these papers. You can be on your holy way. All right. Mommy has a big mouth. Make sure you put his stuff back where you got it from, okay? Okay. About your cancer. Oh my God. Jackie, just fill this out and give her a call, all right? Okay. Thank you again, Mike. Bye, Ryan. Bye-bye. Come on, baby. Mike, I'm really sorry about what I said earlier. I'm just stressed and under a lot of pressure, but you don't deserve my attitude. I'm sorry. No, nah, don't even worry about it. I usually don't chase girls. I see why. You good. Come on, Ryan. I thought it was destruction and haughtiness before a fall. I 
cause for the distribution. God, please forgive me for being so private. God, I know he's a good guy. But I'm just, I'm not ready for this, I don't think. And God, what if I mess up again? He doesn't even have a relationship with you. At least I don't, I don't think he does. I don't know, God, I'm so confused. And I know that you're not the author of confusion, so please, if you could just send me a sign or something. Just show me what to do. Please, I really need you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, Miss Harden, I understand that she needs a chaperone. Okay, but I can't just leave work right now. Fine, I'll just, I'll have to see if her father can do it then. An authorization letter for her father? Okay, but I'm telling you right now that he can take her. Okay. Fine. Ms. Harden, is it okay then if I send him with a sign slip for me? Does that work for you? Okay. Thank you. You have a blessed one. You've been beautiful. Beautiful? Yeah. Darren, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I can't give you a compliment. Look, you and I both know that that's not something you do. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You do look nice today, though. Look, give this to Mrs. Harding. You're going to need it in order to chaperone. OK, got it. You stay on it, don't you? Darren, what's going on? I need to go back to work. Nothing. All right, e, look. I'm going to Texas. All right, I got a job offer, and they want me to come down there and run the site. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm happy for you. But what they got to do with how you acting towards me? I want you and Ryan to come with me. I think we should give this relationship thing another chance. A new place, new life, new family. Dear, I'm not the same girl I used to be. Exactly. That's why I want us to give it another chance. Look, E. Just think on it. James, what's good, man? Oh, yo, my man, what do you want? How you feeling, man? Man, I'm good. I thought that was you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm over here looking like I know this guy from somewhere. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I've just been grinding, man. Trying to make a living for myself. Yeah, I heard you the man on the streets. Man, I do what I can. Yeah, I'm working this little gig. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a nice little good look, but uh, I'm trying to get some of you at. Man, you know me. Hard work is all I know. Yeah, with well, all that hard work, I'm sure you got a nice shorty at the crib, bro. Right? Man, I wish, man. Man, it's, it's this one chick, though. Been trying to get at. I don't really know how I feel about her yet, but uh, I just, I just can't leave her alone. You know? Got a picture? Yeah, man. She 
you know she look good, because you know how I pick her. Check it out. Oh, you talking about her? Oh, that's definitely a problem. You know her? Hey, look, let me let, let me let me get up inside the work. We're gonna talk, alright? Alright. Hey, we're gonna talk. Alright? Alright. We'll see you around. Yeah. This dude crazy. <laughs> talking about I definitely got a problem on my hands. What? No. Dog, I'm, I'm saying, saying, like, she's thinking talking about a problem. Well, maybe he's right, man. She too much of a risk. A risk, bro? What you talking about a risk? I don't got nothing to lose, man. What are you talking about? You literally have everything in Lauren. You don't need her. Oh, man. Well, I ain't talking about that material stuff, man. Huh? <sighs> that material stuff don't matter, man. Real, I... I got cancer, man. Start chemo today. You think you could take me? Man, I'm sorry. I don't know. Don't even worry about it, man. Can you take me or not? Yeah, I got you. Alright. I gotta be here at four, so let's go. Monday morning. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Okay, I messed up. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, so you know that guy that you see me with at church? Ah, uh, see, I wasn't gonna ask, but since you brought it up, and you know I'm nosy. Super nosy. <laughs> well, what's going on with y'all? I like them. Okay. I figured something was going on between the two of you. I mean, you haven't been with a guy this much since Darren, so. It's weird though. Like, I'm not even nice to him. <laughs> he's not my type. Like, he's short. Well, you know what? <laughs> God is funny that way. What you need usually doesn't match up with what you want. That's true. Yeah. Um, so I actually wanted to tell you that I might be moving to Texas with Darren. Wait, what? What? How? Why? I saw him the other day and uh, he told me he got a promotion there. And he wants me and Ryan to come. I don't really feel like it's a bad idea, though. Especially considering my life here. Plus, it'll, it'll, it'll be good for Ryan, right? We'll start off fresh and she'll have both of us. Same house. It could be good. <laughs> your life is not what you understand in your mind, but what you believe in your heart. And sometimes we gotta let go of what we know and embrace what is yet to come. I can't tell you what to do about Texas, because I don't know. But I do know we need to pray. Come on.
pops. Trying to stay strong. I thought I had the one. I was, I was real close. But you were right about them church folks. <laughs> I'm just so hard headed. She, <laughs> she honestly reminded me a lot of mom. <sighs> I know how you feel about that. Oh yeah, I got some good news. I might be uh, joining you guys sooner than I thought. Doctor said I got sarcoma. Some about some muscles and lumps, whatever. I just wanted a family. I need you guys. Somebody. <laughs> Less than yours. Like 12 pounds. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, y'all ready? Yeah, how was practice? It was cool. Same old, though. T and Chris showed up late again. Coach made me run for them. I'm getting tired of having to pick up their slack. Right. I told you what you got to do in order to get them in order. No, man. What y'all doing? Nothing. We just finished up some homework. Yeah, your, okay. girl, your girl came and helped with that calculus. What? She got that magic touch. Uh, but you know, my grade's gonna be looking real good this semester. All right, cool. All right, well, don't get too much help, bro. <laughs> some insight on her mom. She came to one of the shelters I worked in today. Oh, wow. Okay. She'll, uh, she'll be happy to hear that. I'll give her a call. You're welcome. All right, I appreciate you. Just keep me Jackie called. She said, uh, she said she saw your mom going into the shelter. Out there now? It's no problem. I'm happy to help. Now, she is out there. I just want to warn you, she's been having episodes, so she's probably not in her right mind. It's all right. I just, I just want to be able to see her. Okay. I'll go get her. You two wait here. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.
How you feeling about all this? I don't know. Afraid. Excited. Nervous. Honestly, right now, I'm just hoping for the best. What do you think she's going to say? I don't know. Miss Jackie basically says she's not in her right mind, so. I don't even care. I just, I want my mom back. You know, I just. I want to be able to pull something out of her to remind her that I'm here and I need her. I needed her. Thank you. your voice been a while back. What's going on, baby? What's that? Because I'm not trying to go there with you? You know that. Let me ask you a question. Why is it whenever you call me, you always calling me with this nonsense? At least you know what I'm talking about. Look, I love you and I love your mom. You two are just different. But I do know, everywhere both of y'all go, y'all bring chaos. Appreciate it, man. I've been blessed, you know. Yeah. How long you have this? It's been a couple months now. Hey, uh, just uh, turn at the right, uh, left at the light. Okay. Oh, my boy, stay over here. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, the whole family over here now. Oh. He is. Oh, word? That's what's up. Hey, you never told me how you knew old girl. You told me Lisa? Yeah, Lisa. <laughs> Man, I don't think you want to know. No, I'm actually quite interested. My brother and I got close relations to them. Like, she's the mother of my niece. Like, I'm almost daughter. Hey, uh, just uh, turn up the right and just stop right there. Okay. I mean, they're about to move to Texas. I mean, she, she ain't tell you? No, oh, she ain't tell me. <laughs> what you talking about close relations and almost child? Man, Texas, man? <laughs> what you talking man, about? Bro, me and my brother smashed, man. I, I mean, there's no disrespect to my brother, man, but some people just never change, you feel me? <laughs> no, I, I don't feel you, man. Hey, well, listen, I want to thank you for the ride. Be safe out here. And I told my girl I said hi, all right? I really hate seeing you like this. But you gotta believe everything is gonna be okay. Ow. Okay, how do you know that? I messed up so bad this time. I was so selfish. And now I'm sitting here and I'm pregnant and I don't even know who the dad is. How do you bring a baby into that? My own dad isn't even talking to me, so I'm gonna have to do this whole thing by myself. No, you're not, because I'm here. But you gotta believe that everything is gonna be alright. And know that the love of Jesus is confirmed that whatever you are going through, it is not the end. That this is actually the beginning of a new life. Please, do you see those doors? Inside those doors are hope and the future. God has a plan for you. And if you are willing to walk through those doors, he will not stay you wrong. Yes. There are times where you're going to feel hurt and lost and confused. One thing that God promised is that he would never leave you or forsake you. That he would not give you too much that you can't bear. But you gotta trust and believe him. And everything is gonna be alright. Do you think you can do that? I believe that everything is going to be okay. And I got you. I always got you. And so does he. I want you all to think about something. I want you all to think about what it really means to love like Jesus. See, Jesus didn't hang out with the saints only. Actually, the majority of the people he ran with were transformed. That's why some of the worst sinners became saints. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you prove good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. You fix your attention on God, and I promise you, you'll be changed from inside out. And focus on all that around you. Because once you mature in God, you're covered. You're in great headspace, and you've already won by his stripes. Amen. Hey, Pastor. Hey, how you doing? 
excuse me for a second. Um, Mike, can I talk to you? Yeah, just give me a second. That's not true. What's up? How you been? I've been good. I could be better though. Yeah, um, it's been a while since I talked to you. I just wanted to make sure we were still good. I mean, to be honest, I wish I could say we was good, but nah, we not good. Mike, what are you talking about? You, you kissed me and you still with your ex. You moving to Texas, you doing all this stuff at least and you not telling me nothing. Mike, look, I was gonna talk to you about- When, at least? I'm not with him. I don't even know if I'm moving or not. So what, I'm just on standby? Is that what this is? At least, do you do, do you think this is a game? This is my life, Elise. Don't trip, though. My boy is right. You just for everybody. That's cool. I'm actually out here vouching for you, like you a good girl or something. And I'm just looking like the fool. Then you don't need to be upset, right? You don't need me as anything extra in your life? Nope. Look, Mike, I know you're sick. And I'm really sorry about that. But you need to understand that I don't belong to anybody but God. Wait, please. How'd you know I was sick? When I was at your house, I saw your mail. I saw the lump on your arm, too. I don't need you to feel sorry for me, though. I don't. But I will pray for you, though. Come on. Hi, Miss Jackie. Hi, Mom. Hey, how are you? Oh, my baby, Lisa. Oh, my baby. She remembers me? Yes, she does. I am so glad to see you two have come to this point. This is like the best news I've gotten in a long time. Will I be able to visit her at the house? Of course. There's certain hour like it is here, but you'll be able to visit. And we've also started her on some new medication. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my baby. Please <laughs> you in Texas. What you mean you're not going? Look, I can't just drop everything because I feel bad about something that I did years ago. Everything is different now. I don't love you the way I used to. I don't, I don't need you the same way I used to. 
And if this is about anything, it's about what's best for me and Ryan. Man, what? What's good for you? You think it's good for Ryan to be away from me? You want to walk away from what God has given you? Annalise, you ain't real. So-called Christian, or whatever you want to call it. You think you'll gotta prove of this? Is this about that whack nigga you've been bringing around my daughter? What are you talking about? First off, stay out of my business. Second, you have no idea what my relationship with God is. Oh, I don't? Well, if there's anything like us, it ain't about shit. You ain't about shit. Don't put your hands on me. Get, get out of my house. You mind, Elise? And I'm hurt. You hurt me. Look, Darren. Mommy. Come here, baby. Look, Darren, just leave. Come here, Daddy's sorry, baby. I know who I am now, and I just, I want to move on. I have to move on. Look, we can work something out where Ryan can come and see you in Texas, but Darren, I can't be a part of this. Look, if you care about either one of us, then you would just leave now, please. All right. I guess the test of time never fails. Hey, listen, tell Ryan that we're going fishing. Yeah, I bought her a real nice fishing rod. Huh? Yeah. I, I, I hear you, Elise, I hear you. Let me think about it, okay? Okay, listen, your uncle just walked in. I'll see you a little later, okay, babe? Okay, I love you too, babe. All right, bye-bye. Hey. <laughs> hey, Elise. Girl, you scared me. You let me think somebody was stalking me. You're crazy. How you been? It's so good to see you. I've been so good. <laughs> How about yourself? I've actually been pretty good. Um, how has Mike been? I've been trying to call him for like the past couple months. I mean, he's doing as good as he can, you know. Right. Is he in there right now? Yeah, but honestly, he still needs some time. But I will tell you stop by. Right. All right. Well, that's cool. Well, it was just in you. Just in you. Hey, man, I told you I can get this myself, man. 
Hey, what up, man? It's good. You know it ain't no problem. Bro, I'm still my own man. I can handle my own business, man. <laughs> I know, man, but you're going through remission. I figured it'd be easier if I help. How you feeling today, anyway? A lot better, man. A lot better than I have in these past five months. I'm really grateful to God for that, man. Thank you, Jesus. Uh... <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> That's what's up, but uh, guess what I seen outside? Who? Your baby mama. My baby mama? What? I ain't got no baby mama. <laughs> Calm down. You Just play it, dog. Elise. Elise. What's that got to do with me, though? Come on, for real. Man, I told you I'm done with her, real. I heard, but she said she's been blowing your phone up. I like her, man. She's nice. Seem a lot more at peace. And peace. I mean, that's good, but Brett, what's that got to do with Mike? Wow. And after all that time you spent chasing after her, and now you the one that's running. And see, real, that's why I don't chase. Look, Mike, I don't know too much, but I do know that some people deserve a second chance. <laughs> you might not want to admit it, but if it wasn't for Elise, ain't no telling where you would have been. And you know what I mean. The love of God is amazing. You're not hearing me. I said the love of God is amazing. How many know that God will take care of us if we just hold on to his way? Hmm? Staying faithful and loving him is truly the key to your faith. The joy of the Lord comes when you praise him. The joy of the Lord is the answer to your prayer. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, verses 3 and 4, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win love and favor in the sight of God and man. And let me tell you, if you're pleasing God, you don't ever have to worry about pleasing man. I'm going to say that again. If you're pleasing God, you don't ever have to worry about pleasing man. Turn to your neighbor and say, put God first. Put God first. Amen. Chasing after her, she chasing something different. Yeah, I'm chasing after her, she chasing something different. Yeah, I'm chasing after her, she chasing something different. Yeah, I'm chasing after her, she chasing something different. Yeah. Chasing after her, she chasing something different. She gotta be one of the world's most beautiful women. I'm used to chasing girls without a commitment. But I wanna buy pearls, the sky's the limit. I wanna give her the world, but it's gonna take a minute. We can travel anywhere, it ain't no need to pivot. Get it? I mean, I'm with it if she with it. I'm thinking that her life would be amazing with me in it. But even though she's single, that position filled Cause she said she chasing God, no curb, she for real That's when I realized she high up on this pedestal I mean we both human, but she acting like she better though Like she too good for me, still I can't let her go I want her in a way that's mirror though, I gotta let her know But she told me she can't picture us together So until I find God my face, I should never show Whoa, she acting like she ain't got a pass And I ain't talking about the kind that you throw off the glass She act like she perfect, she hide behind the mask These God lovers always find a way to make me mad And I don't need her or the God that she serve Especially if the way she acting is a reflection of the word And that's I stare into, a reflection of myself I see a young man that looks to be in good health 
Still feel empty, I'm simply in need of healing I'm so tired of these Christians that pay me to be the villain What is this that I'm feeling? As I stare at the ceiling, I think I'm finally willing to ask God for some wisdom And then I found out I got cancer, I need answers I'm on my knees talking to God with my hands up People always told me that God got a plan But this can't be the plan that he had for my life I mean, ain't it too early for me to walk to the light? Am I walking to the fire? Don't know whether the prior keep my head High and hopes that you will lift me higher, higher, higher. Please give me understanding. If I lean on my own, that ain't a safe landing. I'm even forgiving the girl that rejected me. Retrospectively, all of her actions directed me to call out to you instead of giving up and dying. Getting up and jumping in a den full of lions. Covering up my face instead of facing the giants. And when it's silent, I can hear my body breaking down. That's why I'm crying out to you, cause I can't take it now. I hate it now. I was focused on the wrong things before. And now I'm keeping you first, like that's all I know. Thank you for turning a rejection to self-reflection. I had a poor reception. Now we got a connection, affection. It's a blessing when I'm in your presence. And you forgot my past. You focused on the present, the future. My mask off, I ain't hiding. You give me life, I don't feel like I'm